Folks, we have three really good commitments, and I'm going to do them in a hurry, so we'll have maximum time. You are going to love this panel. You will never again question whether progress is possible when you see this panel. This uh, commitment is called uh, one of my favorite subjects, Pace Now, Accelerating America's Building Retrofits. And I want to invite to the stage Jack Adairi of the Jack Adairi Foundation, Jeff Tannenbaum, the founder of PaceNow.org and Fir Tree Philanthropy, Clay Nessler, the vice president of Johnson Controls, one of my foundation's partners, and Bracken Hendricks, senior fellow for the Center for American Progress. Their commitment is to dramatically accelerate energy retrofits in America by making available innovative, low-cost financing. They've committed a million and a half dollars over the next five years. The partners in this commitment will make low-cost financing available for both commercial and residential projects. The financing called PACE is lent to property owners to finance energy retrofits, which they then repay over 15 to 20 years to an annual assessment on their property tax bill. This financing scheme has several benefits. It creates green-collar jobs, reduces the energy bills for consumers, reduces greenhouse gas emissions. This was first instituted in California in 2008. Twelve states have passed legislation enabling PACE financing. And uh, one of my congressmen, Steve Israel from Long Island, has a bill in the Congress to enable this to be done nationwide. Buildings account for 70 percent plus of our electricity usage, 40 percent of America's carbon emissions. And the Center for American Progress estimates that every million dollars of investment in building energy retrofits creates 12 new jobs. This is a really good thing. Let me, let me just say to all of you, I, I, I promise to be fast, I want you to think about this when you go home. All of these energy efficiency projects are good economics, but there is not yet in America a national system of parallel financing. So any utility can charge you for 20 years to build a coal-fired power plant, which creates only one-sixth or one-eighth as many jobs as building retrofits. If you build a nuclear power plant, you can pay for it over 30 years. If the homeowner has to go get a consumer loan, they're lucky to get a three-year loan. This enables the homeowner to, in effect, finance over a long period of time and make sure they're not having to pay out before they realize the savings. And all over America, we have to do that with public buildings, big buildings like hospitals and auditoriums and homes. If we did it, we could put millions of people to work in the next couple of years. So what I hope will happen is that this commitment will be seen by others and we'll continue to look for new ways to do it. It's, uh, I spend a lot of time working on this. And let me also say that I can't say enough good about Johnson Controls because the big energy companies like Johnson will guarantee these savings. And that was enough for, to get us longer-term bank financing until September of last year. Then there was a collapse, so we have to find other ways to do it. We either got to get another federal guarantee program or this property tax mechanism or something else, because otherwise we're never going to have the financing of energy efficiency on a parallel footing with the financing of new power plants. Once we do that, this will be a runaway growth sector for America and for a lot of other countries as well. So you owe them a lot. Thank you very much. Second uh, group I want